It was back in March, Jathan Tatao told the cops he robbed the Bank of Guam and Jigo in February, along with co-defendants Ricky McIntosh Jr., Vincent Santos, and Antonio Kitagua. Fast forward to today, he stands alone as the only defendant convicted of robbery, in addition to burglary and a misdemeanor he committed as a minor. As we've been reporting, Tatao Tao would have received a minimum nine-year sentence for the Bank of Guam robbery and the burglary of a Jigo home, but he failed to cooperate with his plea agreement when he refused to testify against McIntosh, Santos, and Kitagua. As a result, their charges were acquitted and his sentencing held today, in which he yet again flipped the switch and asked the court that he take the blame on behalf of all his co-defendants in each of the crimes. I'm willing to take the sentencing, in, but I uh, just uh, don't want my co-defendants to to get sentenced. I understand they have conspiracy. That's about it. But you guys are already sentencing me, so you guys found the guy that did it. We should note to Tata's brother Joshua is named a co-defendant in the February burglary in addition to Antonio Kitagua. This case will head to trial in November, but as the court noted today, prosecution alleges the firearms stolen from the Jigo home were the same ones used in the bank robbery just days later. Although defense attorney Gerald Gray requested for continuance of today's hearing as his client may be willing to cooperate in the November trial, the court denied his request. I don't know what personal reasons caused my client to change his mind, but, but for some reason he did. It, it's, uh, it's, his behavior uh, was quite unusual. I know he's under various medications and um, things like that. He still would be willing if the government is open to cooperating on the uh, burglary case. But as Chief Prosecutor Basil O'Malley noted, Tatato has a poor history of cooperating with the government. The people were very disappointed. Uh, Mr. Tatato has about face in the course of the first trial uh, and his attempt now to try and uh, take the fall for everybody to let everybody else off the hook. In the second case, which is still coming up in November, which is the burglary. Although both parties requested Tao Tao be sentenced to 15 years, Judge James Canto imposed that and more. 10 years for the bank robbery, 10 for the Jigo burglary, and one year for the unauthorized use of a motor vehicle to Tao Tao committed as a minor. The total 21-year sentence will be served consecutively. Mr. Tao Tao has the uh, dubious distinction of being the first in my knowledge, convicted bank robber on Guam. Tatata may be the first convicted bank robber in local court, but not in federal court. Back in 1997, James Ninetti Leon Guerrero and Dominic John Uggen were found guilty of conspiring to commit an armed bank robbery at the Bank of Guam Mangilao branch. Although the Jigo bank robbery may be closed, the stolen money and stolen firearms were never uncovered. In addition, the second gunman caught on the bank's surveillance footage was never identified. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.